Well, please forgive me if I make a mistake with some of these barns. They are changing a little bit, right? We have some horses moving back to Northfield Park. We have a couple of horses we sent out and in transition, there may be a horse lost. Now, as I say that, I can't believe I'm saying this, but when it comes to our small barns, Ron Burke just, just <laughs> dropped onto our small barns list, which uh, is the biggest barn in the world, but he's a small potato so <laughs> apparently he only has two of our horses. So uh, we're gonna start with Mario's barn. Mario's barn. You couldn't be on fire more than Mario's Barn is. I think he's missed the top three once this year. Uh, quite a transition from last year, but I think it's important to note, you know, you give somebody that takes their job seriously, um, that works hard and, and likes horse racing and is knowledgeable enough, good horses, and you're gonna have good results, right? It's much like saying a driver. You give a good driver great horses to drive, and more times than not, they'll turn into a, I don't wanna say it, a great driver, because that, that should be an elite club. But you can have a good driver turn into a very, very good driver from from driving power. And um, Mario Bergeron not only is a great driver, but is a good horseman. First glance, hasn't been out of the top two, I don't believe, this year. And has looked absolutely fantastic. Second and 54-4 and four again the other night. Renegade Gypsy. Everybody's waiting with bated breath to see what this guy does. This horse looks legit. And I'm very pumped to see Renegade Gypsy race in the first gold this week. Rosie's masterpiece, although the time hasn't been there yet. She was sick, needed time. I think you're going to see a good filly towards the mid to later part of the year. Very impressed with Rosie's masterpiece. Uh, Stonebridge Ducati, unfortunately, come up a little sore, but you know what? I'd rather say, hey, Anthony, and this is this is how this is where the horsemanship comes in. Mario called me, said I don't want to qualify that colt. He's got a little little uh, touch of the virus. He said, but that right knee is carrying a little heat. You might want to get it looked at. I said, okay. We took her up to the vet, scratched the horse, took him up to the vet. Sure enough, there's two little lines there. Now, had we qualified that horse, if I said, if Mario said, ah, you know what, he'll be fine. We'll just qualify him. We'll get him looked at after. Those lines could have very well ended up being chips, fractures. You could end up with the horse done for a while and then have residual arthritis afterwards. So Mario Bergeron did a fantastic job recognizing that Stonebridge Chicati could in, in fact have an issue there. Had he not done that and had not expedited getting him looked at, we could have had a serious issue, so something that's very minor that will heal up and not be a problem in the future um, could have been something seriously, and it was averted because of the, the good horsemanship by Mario and the people in his barn. Uh, Walk on the Moon has been great. Two wins coming in. Now, they were easy wins. He was in tough the other day, but I like that move in the last turn where he just come charging into the hole and charged the wire. Horse race, great. 56 and a piece. I thought he looked great. Uh, he's done a great job with him. And then World for Two, unless I'm wrong, is the only horse that has missed the board for Mario this year out of his own barn. Unless I'm incorrect. Um, World for two, fourth. 57 and two, 26 and three on the end of it. Pretty hard not to be super happy with what you see from Mario's barn. So congratulations to him. He's done a great job. I can't wait to see what the rest of the summer will bring. Good luck with Renegade Gypsy this week and all the other horses. A very, very, very sharp looking barn heading into the summer 2021.